Okay, and now I am going to test that how this my car starts when I... let's go to test. And now no any starting. Engine no any engine runs. Only starter runs and rotates this engine. Okay, and what to do then? Hello, and next I am planning to show you that how to replace this distributor, this cap and cover, and how it happens. And then I continue. Okay, and when I am planning to take out and open these parts, first part is to take uh, out a little bit these extra items and now it's good to take out this uh, this air filter cover and I open that air filter cover the first one and two these metallic clamps and then there's this connector that I open and then I can lift up this cover and, and carefully open these parts I move that in this position and I take this cable and now, now we have more space in that area and in here we can look that now it's much better to work in here. Okay and then, then I open these two connectors in here and these connectors when I am Taking these connectors, cables out, we can take a little bit better view. There are that connector, this connector and then that one. And opening happens so that I press that area and same time pull out. Like in that way, this press and then pull out in this way. And it opens the same idea in here. Press and pull out. Okay. And now these cables are free. Good. And then I can open these bolts in here next. Okay. And then I need to open in here three, one, two, and three bolts. And I have in here this example example part. What I am planning to do, I have in like in here this reserve part that we can see that what I am planning to do. And this my system is in that position. And now there is one, two, and three these holes, where is that kind of small, small screw. And, and for that opening, I need now this 8 millimeter socket for fits in here, that I can open this bolt and then also small wrench. Okay, and this is like an example, and then I start to then I start to open this, and first I take this upper upper part in this one in here open, and I insert my tool in that kind of position, and it's there nicely. And look, I have a little bit longer bar. There is this eight eight millimeter socket, and extra bar and wrench. Okay, and then, then I open this bolt. In that, this is the opening direction. In that, this way, start, end. This is rotation, is like in that way. And then, then I take my smaller part and I can rotate this bolt away, <coughs> away using my hands. Okay, and there is this first bolt. It looks like that. And 
centers second similar it is in here down in this area and look when this is Toyota car these parts are easy to open there is always space and in that way I open and bolts open very easily now I rotate my tool and then I can also use my fingers and soon this There is second bolt, and then we have one final bolt. Its location is a little bit in here deeper. And that way, on that side, and now is my tool. It is in position, and then I always, then I always open it. Difficult place. So now I manage. Now I manage to put it. Okay, now it's open, and in same same step, there was the spinal final bolt and in same step when I took that bolt away this cover opens normally it opens in that way but sometimes if it is stuck we only move that and now this part is free okay and there is then this my distributor this distributor cover this it looks like that okay good and then we can go to check that what is my this distributor cover status. Okay, and then I am showing that how we can test that what is our this distributor cover status. That is this okay or not. And there is situation that first when there are those spark plug cables that we have to investigate that outer area, outer area and there must be situation that no any cracks and leaks. I have a small crack in here, but it is in outer area, it is not so bad. But then when we look in here inner area, there we have more interesting things and that's, that's I need a little bit more light. And then when we look in the inner Area, we must have some. We, we have to check all of those one, one, two, three, four, five, six of those electric connector, those sides that are they okay? And I start in that place, and this place must be without any corrosion and no too much burn out. This is okay. And then the central point, it looks also okay. And then when I look that side, this is full of corrosion and this, this is like bad because now there is no this right electric and electricity movement. And then second of this, and these parts goes to directly in spark plugs and that's it is really bad and this means that now this 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 uh, thing explains and tells to me that that why I have so weak spark in my spark plugs because there is corrosion it is like rust and that sec second is also bad and then third one there is also Corrosion and it is weak. Then I scratch little. Okay, and even there is one some parts they are moving in out. 
And there is so much something scrap in here that I can. It is and this corrosion. What is in here? This is bad. This makes my sparks small and weak. And then final part is in here. And then also this corrosion burn out this my distributor, these metallic bars. And that's I need to replace this cover. And I have now situation that I have in here one spare part cover that I can check that that is this better that one and this is like also and when we compare in their inner area I can right away see that these metallic bars what takes contact to spark plugs they are much much better there is not so much this corrosion there is a little bit burn out but not too much and then and when, when we compare these parts we can right away see that that in in this one this metallic parts there is much much more this metallic material than this my current one and there is and then there's also this interesting when I move that look it is totally rusty then I move that big part of this material burn out it is in here and this is not nice because that kind of corrosion what is in my hand this this is like this this is not working. This is like rusty corrosion. And it is in this ground. I can insert my I can crush this. It is like sand. And this is not good. And there is another and then when this is like old one and in this new one then I check there is no that kind of hard corrosion. These, these metallic things are hard. Okay. And if this if this parts burn out really much, then we have difficulties to get big sparks to our spark plugs. Okay, and that's that's I need to dismiss and react that distribution cap. And and next I need to also move these cables in here and I will do that next. Okay and then when I am installing this distributor cap back there is easy thing that this goes only in one way in there because Toyota has paid, made this like triangle and it goes in only one way and it is easy to install the first that way and it goes nicely in this way. It is easy install when we have this air filter cover is like away in here that we have space. And then we had three of those eight millimeter bolts what are in my hand and they goes nicely in there. This is, this is first one and then I need this eight millimeter socket and small bar because this, this is easier to rotate in here and then of course small wrench and then I start to fasten and there was three bolts and it is good to first fasten a little bit that and then I take second bolt and it goes nicely in here those two bolts are easy to install in here and this only third one is a little bit more complex and then I fasten also that and then we go to look that third one that where we install that because it is a little bit more complex situation and there is first is my bolt 
and it goes just nicely in that way. And I insert my hand in here and I little bit move these cables and then I install in here. And now it's in their position in there. And let's look when I and now I rotate that using my fingers and I take a little bit more light. We can see where is this bolt? It is in here. Now I am touching that in here. And I rotate that little bit more in that way. There is the snoot. And there is second. Second knot here and third one. Third one is in here. In that one. This one in here. Okay. And now I fasten these all bolts using my this small friends in that way and then in second in here second is in here little bit up in there I fasten also that good and then not too much force and then this final one what was in in here, this down area. In here, so can we see? Yes, now we can. And then I fasten also that bolt. Okay, good. And now it's well. Okay, good. And then, final step. Final step is to check that, that this this our system and we look that there is no any leaks in that area because this area must be really well sealed because if water goes in here then we are in troubles. Okay and then I install these spark plug cables and it is easy to install because the shortest one cable came in here and longest one in here, remember. And if you have used those, if you have all cables are same length, then you have to do so that you check that this cable in here in that area, it is number four cylinder like shortest one, it comes in here and remember to press that deep. And then next one, what is the second? Actually this is not, but there is this next one. Next shortest, it goes in here. And this cylinder two, three, this is like cylinder four, three, two, one. This is cylinder one. This is like cylinder three. And this cable goes in directly in here down. In here, look. That must connector must be in here, it comes in here, and then I press that in down and remember to press enough deep. R listen to this sound. Good. And then next cable. It is this that cylinder three. And cylinder three cable, its location is in here, in that one, and then it comes in. Oh, now I made mistake. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. This is the, this is actually the cylinder three cable, and this one is cylinder two. Sorry, my mistake. This is like cylinder four. Let's look, and it comes in that. Look, this is cylinder three in this side, and look that there is this. It is easy to understand that where is this. Made in Japan logo and this barcode in here. This is like this basement. And that right side in here, this comes in cylinder three, sorry. And then that cylinder second, what is in here, it comes, it comes from this deep area in here, that most below cable. And it comes in here and it goes directly to number two. And then we have only left what is in that upper one in here, in that side, and this is cylinder once, this is the longest cable. Okay, and now 
all cables are in there, excellent. And then we can install these cables in this keeper, because it is good in that way. I press these cables in this, this keeper in that way. The cables are in well in here. Okay, good. And then we continue. Okay, and now I am going to test that how this my car starts when I... let's go to test. And now no any starting. Engine no any engine runs. Only starter runs and rotates this engine. Okay, and what to do then?